can make a wine bottle and glass holder out of this Tennessee cedar. And I've got the end stops hooked up. Miraculously, they work. We're gonna get this hooked up um, off camera. I've found the center point right there. So we're gonna get it squared up as best as possible. And then we're gonna mount it and uh, we'll get that set up and then I'll show you. So this is the CNC JS. It's connected via Raspberry Pi to the CNC. See there's different stats, different controls, all sorts of cool stuff. Highly recommend it. Um, doing this, I don't have to have the computer hooked up out here. So I didn't show much last night because I was tired, um, but basically all I did after we cut off is I lowered it another another little bit and then let it make another engraving pass and then I put some gold acrylic paint over the top and we're down in the grooves there. So I've got some sand, sanding paper, some finer grit stuff for my um, random orbital. So we're gonna sand it off real quick and see what happens. Oh yeah, look at that. Frickin' mint, bud. Wow, amazing. I like it. I did something good for once. Just gotta figure out how to get inside there, but other than that, I'm, hate to say it, I'm actually, pretty damn happy on how that turned out especially for my first try I mean look at that I mean that's pretty cool so that's how she turned out not too bad I don't think um, the next part of the video, I'll, uh, show you how I designed it, or give a basic overview, because obviously I've already designed it, so, um, that'll be part two, um, I figure you guys want to see the goods first, so, that's what it looks like, and we'll see you in the next video, um, if you have any suggestions on what you want to see next, let me know, I'll do my best to try to make it, and, uh, yeah, see you next time. Bye.